Hey everyone, I'm Armor Gaming. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Monster Legends. The hot topic of the week today, or this week I should say, is exploits. Last week it was relics and trying to ban relics, now it's using relics and exploiting the game. And so, yeah, I just want to talk about exploits. This may not be, this is, well, this isn't what I normally talk about, I just talk about the game. But I guess we're going to get into some moral and ethical issues. And, you know, I just want to preface this by saying, at the end of the day, this is just a game. You should really be enjoying it. But, you know what, let's, I don't know where this is going to go. Let's just, let's just talk and whatnot. So the main exploit I want to talk about right now, it involves using monsters that have um, two slots that they can hold on the essence relic and unfortunately it doesn't show you I was hoping it showed you but this is one monster that can do it and I'm gonna give you guys a list of the monsters actually I'll just say it right now um, for legendary monsters I don't know epics but for legendary it's Fyrna, Cyan, Drek, Sylvanus, Yeltre, Bowtie, Uriel and there's also um, Vanos with the, the gangster Vanos and so those monsters I just named, those are the monsters that can hold two relics that can revive, two Uriel's Essence. And so the thing that's currently going on in the game is in PvP, or even in Team Wars, if you fight a monster that has two revival relics on that monster, it'll freeze the game. So essentially, you'll end up losing, they'll end up winning. And, you know, I debated whether or not I should, like, show names or show, like, people's profiles, but... You know what, they're, they're on the top right now, so it doesn't really matter. Most people know about it. If you're on Facebook, if you're on Discord, you'd know about this. But then for the rest of you that don't know anything about Facebook or the forums or anything, and you just watch YouTube, you just watch my videos, well, now you're going to know. Stay away from any of those monsters I just named. And there's a few other epics you, you should stay away from, which I'll try to mention in the description below. Um, I think that involves um, Aiden, like you saw, Musu. He's another one that can hold two essence relics. And so when you're doing your PvP, just take a look and see if it's one of those monsters. Luckily for us, it's mostly legendary monsters, and none of these monsters have revival relics, so I can easily battle them, and I don't have to worry about my game being frozen. And I think this will probably mostly affect the majority of top players, because it's they're the ones that have two diamond Uriel's revival relic. And as you can see, this is how a lot of players have been climbing to the top. Oh, here's actually a good example. 10,030 places increased. So let's see what team he's using. And look, there's a bow tie, there's a Uriel. So yeah, he, he's obviously exploiting the glitch. And so then this brings up the issue, is it right or is it wrong to exploit a glitch that is partly doing faults, or mostly, totally doing faults in social points part. And this is where people have diverse opinions. Now, in the past, there's two major exploits that come to mind. There's the Warcoin glitch exploit, and then there was the, the, um, come on, the one I made a video on, the Sow Shop. The one where you could essentially refresh the Sow Shop to keep buying cells at a really cheap price. For 30 gems, you could get 20 cells. And so for 150 gems, you can get 100 cells of a legendary monster. That was an exploit. A lot of people used it. However, a lot of people didn't have too much of a problem with that exploit, myself included. I'll be the first to admit I used it as soon as I found out about it. And I made a video showing everyone about it. The, the, the way I feel about exploits is if social point cost it, you should be able to exploit it as long as everyone can equally benefit from it. So that's why I made a video on that. The Warcoin glitch, that one I never made a video on. I did. I had. I never really found out how to do the glitch. I had really good ideas just reading the forums and reading Facebook. But the reason I never exposed how to do that exploit is because that one was completely unfair. Because if a team wins a war and gets 400 coins and they duplicate that over and over and over again, they get a lot of war coins. Whereas if you're a team that only wins 100 war coins, 50 war coins, and you duplicate that, you're not going to be getting a lot of coins compared to the team that won 400. So that was really disproportionate. And so then that brings us to this current exploit that involves player versus player, that involves team wars. I don't think this is right. This is, I mean, you could argue that none of the exploits are right, but the way I feel about exploits is that you shouldn't be in the game. So if it, if everyone can benefit from it, then abuse it while you can and let it be patched. It really should be patched. That Sawi glitch, that really should have been patched. If you watch my earlier videos, I said that straight out. I'm like, you know what, abuse it while you can and let this be patched because it really isn't fair to everyone that isn't using it. But anyhow, going back to this topic with the revive relics, this doesn't benefit everyone. This only benefits the small majority of people that have two revival relics, which are two diamond relics. And as for everyone else, everyone that unknowingly fights them, they're just going to get defeated. They're going to lose trophies and then the other player is going to go up in the trophies and keep in mind, this is supposed to be player versus player. This is supposed to be where we see the best of the best. And it sucks because that isn't the case when people are exploiting glitches like this. 
So let me just keep clicking on profiles. Yeah, see, so Musu, he's one that can hold two revival relics. And that's probably what's going on in this case. I don't know for sure. I don't know the person. I wish you could actually see who's doing it and who's not. But, like, seriously, when you see a defense team involving a 120 epic monster that doesn't really do much, like, you can kind of start inferring that something is wrong. Or going back to the person in 10th place, like, really, a bow tie on defense? Who ever does that? No one does bow tie on defense, and suddenly you shot up 1,030 places? That That's just, that doesn't seem right, you know? Let's keep on looking at people, look at profile. And here we have a 110 Uriel. Now I'm pretty sure this player can afford to not use any 110 monsters. I'm pretty sure he has better monsters. But yeah, that's what I'm getting at. Like, again, I have no way of knowing who's actually exploiting this glitch. You can make inferences and whatnot. I was really debating whether or not I should even show the players. But I mean, they're on the top. And anyone can look at rankings and start looking at profiles. And I don't think it really matters. They're at the top. They're, they have the spotlight. And so yeah, so I, wanna, I really want to pass the question on to you guys. Do you guys think it's fair with this specific exploit? using um revival relics to freeze the game and thus boosting their points and reducing everyone else's points is that fair now of course you could always avoid battling them but that's not even a good argument because these players that are exploiting the glitch they're already at the top which means if no one attacks them well they're not going to lose any trophies well i mean if they were to get attacked they would only gain trophies but right now they're in the situation where if they get attacked they automatically win or you can choose not to attack them which means they'll they will lose no trophies from getting attacked so how's that fair all they can do is win now they can really do pvp they can attack whoever they want and as long as they win they're just increasing their trophies so unless they lose a pvp battle they chose they're just gonna keep staying on top and keep climbing the ranks that's not fair it's especially not fair when we have leagues and depending what league you're on you can get different rewards so for example to be in legendary one you have to be in the top 30. well what if there's like 10 or 20 people exploiting that glitch that you were in the top 30 but now you got kicked down to the top 50 you got kicked down to legendary 2 and you'll be in the top 100 and what if you used to be in the top 100 but now you got kicked down to legendary 3 so this is why this specific glitch and exploit is i i think it's really unfair i also i have to say like again going back to this i don't want to point fingers or anything but the majority of people that are abusing this because they can seems to be a lot of the top players the same people that were against relics in their entirety that wanted them completely banned yet now when there's a exploit involving relics they're abusing it that doesn't make sense to me and i get it one argument can be well we're using relics to see how glitchy they are how bug they are so they should be removed but no that doesn't make sense i think enough people already know about this as if you're on facebook or the forums or discord you definitely know about this but if, if you don't know anything about this again just stay away from any monster that can hold two essence relics it's just better to be safe than sorry the season's about to end in just three days and 16 hours so just try to hold on to your trophies, stay away from those opponents that have those monsters that can hold two revival relics, two essence relics, which again are Fyrna, Cyan, Drek, Sylvanus, Yiltre, Bowtie, and Uriel. And as for the epic monsters, the ones that come to mind right off the bat are Aiden and Musu. There's probably a few other ones. I haven't really done much research into that. But also, if, if something just seems weird, it's... It might be worth staying away. It really depends what league you're in. I also imagine this probably doesn't affect the majority of players because the majority of players, let's let's face it, the majority of players aren't going to be facing opponents that have two revival relics. That most likely isn't the case. So I guess it's just like a, I don't know. I don't know what this video is anymore. I guess it's just, I want a conversation. I want to know what you guys think about this glitch. If you didn't know about it, if you didn't know about it, let me know in the comments that you didn't know about it because I'd like to get a gauge of who actually is involved in Facebook and the forums and who isn't because that really helps me decide on what to talk about in my videos because sometimes I feel like I talk about stuff on Facebook and I'm assuming that everyone's on Facebook but clearly that isn't the case I'm rarely on Facebook to be honest I, I mostly just use the messenger app but yeah as I was saying I just want a conversation from all of you guys what do you guys think about this current exploit this current glitch do you think it's fine for them to use it do you think it's not fine and what are your reasons why you think it's fine or not fine and also, I'm just really curious to know, have the relics had any impact on you as a player? Because personally, I still haven't seen much relic usage other than when I do PvP, and I haven't even been doing that much PvP. Let's actually look at my profile. I think I've attacked, I've attacked 26 times this whole, what was it, like a three-week season? Defenses, I've won six defenses somehow. I haven't even changed my defense team. This is a horrible defense team. But yeah, this season specifically, I haven't been that motivated into playing. But regardless, I'm just rambling. I'm getting off topic. I just I just really want to know you guys' opinions. What are your guys' thoughts on exploits in Monster Legends, I guess? Whatever, just let me know in the comments below. 
And with that being said, like always, remember to dream big and pursue your passions.